Hey, free to play gang, welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna to take a look at defense of the Zephyrite again. And for this time, I'm gonna show you how to do a full clear on defense of the Zephyrite. So let's get started. Now, the main thing for me to initiate this conversation with is to take a look at your deck again. Okay, so how many inches is your deck? So if you are not at my state right now where you can put down three cannons, then it's gonna be a little bit more challenging. And the thing is you do not necessarily need three cannons Two is gonna be good enough, right? So the middle one, you can just replace it with the Rejuvenation Tower, which is whatever that you start off with. But ideally, try to get your two cannons, right? Your crossbolt cannons to level two at least, which is not a huge investment in my opinion, because it is actually quite cheap, right? So for example, it just costs you about a thousand, which is like next to nothing to upgrade it to level three. Now, the thing is you might need to run the non-full clear version of defense of the Zephyrite, just like maybe a couple of times just to get enough resources to buy another tower and to upgrade it as well. But once that is done, you can now try to get a full clear on the, on the defense of the Zephyrite. And the reason why you want to get a full clear, right? So as you can see, I actually have more Zephyr coins per, per express clear. So what you notice is that when I challenge this, right, and if I express this, I'm actually going to gain 3,500 Zephyr coins, wherein most players who did not full clear this, you'd probably only be able to get 3,000 because the final boss himself drops about another 400 to 500 more Zephyr coins, which is a big deal because that is like at least another 10% extra rewards whenever you press the express button over here. So now that you know how to set up your defense, let's take a look at how this is done. So in order to keep the video as short as possible and straight to the point, I'm actually gonna skip to like maybe the third wave. Okay, so now that we are on the third wave, basically we just cleared the first two waves, right? So now that we're on the third wave, this is where things get a little bit more dicey and it's very important for you to plan your moves a little bit more proactive, so to speak, right? So the goal right now is to just clear all these enemies and then the boss will appear. But that's not all. So instead, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to slowly make sure that I kill all these guys and then I need to come back to hug my tower again. So let's just see how this is going to be done. So I'm just going to go ahead and try my best to get rid of all these guys via like just range attacks and all that, right? So maybe something like this. And my melee characters should just try to stay at the tower as much as possible because they're not going to do too much damage anyway. And they need to move very far away in order for them to target some of the enemies, which is not very good for us right now. So I'm, go I'm just going to park my tank up here. I'm just going to make her wait. And as for my archers and my other range, uh, range units, it is okay for them to go out and hunt the rest of the enemies over here. Now, the reason why we want to hug the tower as much as possible is because when the boss finally arrives, he is going to try to take out any one of your structures here, right? He's going to take out the front structures, which means that it is very important for you to try to basically just to block him a little bit and make sure that he doesn't move as much as he's supposed to, right? So that he don't get to your towers that quickly. So there's a lot of planning involved over here. So as you can see, I'm slowly trying to make my units move back to the tower and in front of the tower. Okay, so now I'm going to position the rest of my troops here, wait it out at the top and block like so. All right, you just want to block the main three towers over here. So I'm just going to move up here and shoot this guy. And that's about it. So now the boss is going to spawn. So take a look at this, right? The boss is going to spawn. He's going to stun all of my troops. But the thing is, my towers, they are completely protected. So take note that the boss will not attack you. So like this Banshee. Oh my god, wait. I've never faced a Banshee before. <laughs> I hope she's not ranged. What the heck? I've never seen her before. I've always been fighting the, the first dude, which is like the, the, the angel, right? <laughs> I hope she's not ranged. Okay, so now the thing is, we are supposed to use our tower to attack the boss. Oh my god, he can... She can face through everything. Wow, that changes everything for us. Okay, but... <laughs> thankfully... Okay, thankfully we still have enough firepower to take her out. Right? So something like this, we need to use the towers to take her out. But the thing is, the angel... <laughs> he's like the easier one because you can actually block him. So let's just assume that the boss here that we are facing <laughs> is the angel boss. And as such, we are able to just use our troops to block off the boss so that the boss has to walk around us before the, uh, the boss can take out one of our defensive towers. But there you go. So this is how you do a full clear. And this is also how you uh, get the most rewards from this run. So right now, 3,499. This is the maximum uh, that we can obtain right now from Defense of the Zephyrite number one. So that's it for this video anyway. If you have any other questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Anyway, with that said, hope you guys enjoyed today's content. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and subscribe for more Valiant Force content. Now with that said, this has been Dare Free to Play and as always, I will see you in the next video.